My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be doing a review on Duluth Trading and their clothesline. I've been using these clothes for my lawn care and landscaping business, uh, for professional polos, as well as I've got some pants over here. Um, so we've got an unboxing, some new clothes, a comparison, uh, new versus old, and different types, what works well in the hot weathers we've got. Uh, I live here in Missouri, and it's hot and humid during the summer, and I'm a pants guy, I don't wear shorts, and so I need pants that are gonna be cooling and work with that. Same with my shirts, I need something that's gonna cool me off. It feels kinda weird to be showing you my pants, but I think it's important for this video. So here is a look of maybe not an average day, but this is uh, definitely a day of landscaping. Today we've been doing a retaining wall block, uh, doing a, a wall, cutting concrete blocks, and here my pants are. These are Duluth pants. I've got my keen boots on. We've got a separate review video on those, and this is what I came home looking like. Here's the shirt I wore today, uh, and this shirt I wore all last summer. Ordered them about April, so I've probably worn these 30, 40 times. I actually picked up four of these shirts. We've got two behind me. I'm wearing one. I've got another one in the wash. And so every single week, I would wear these four shirts and then cycle them through the wash. So all last year, using these, these were my main go-to shirts. These are the Armachillo cooling shirts, and they worked really great. They actually cool really well. A lot of the cooling shirts that I found are like this Belgard shirt that I have. This is from one of our vendors. Um, they gave this to me. This is a synthetic shirt, and they are cool. They work great, but they're not as durable. It's a very thin material, and in fact, when I was uh, grinding metal with this, it really picked up and snagged all of the, the metal shavings because they were hot and they stuck to that synthetic material. Um, I don't know what they use in these, uh, but it's a lot better material. So we'll take a look at the tags and show you the differences, and I'll give you a closer look of the durability and the color change. There is quite a color change over the year. So I've got two different types of shirts here, and I believe this one was quite a bit less expensive, and this fabric is uh, not as quality, it's not as nice. Uh, this fabric's much nicer but it's a very uh, hot fabric. So this is a long tail tee. You can see here what we've got inside. And I take a size medium. Normally I'm a large. In their sizes I'm a medium. And in fact, I ordered smalls with this new package, so we'll see if they fit me. Uh, the large, or the mediums even tend to be a little bit wide on me. Here's a look at that less expensive shirt. If we can focus here. Made in Vietnam. So I'm pretty frugal. That's why we got the colors we've got. We've got the, the green, which is kind of an ugly color. I would never wear this if I wasn't in lawn care and landscaping. It's perfect for the business. That's why I picked it up. And I've loved them. I actually went to reorder some more, and they were discontinued. And that's why I went with the smalls, because all they had available was the smalls as we'll open up. I wanted to make sure they fit. I got, I believe I ordered three. And if uh, they do fit, they look good, and I like the colors, I'm gonna go ahead and order several more uh, to last this season and even probably into the future. So they're, they're pretty stain resistant. I've been really pleased, especially at first. Um, here's a look at some stains that they've uh, acquired over time. Uh, they don't do so well with grease, and I tend to get into grease occasionally, uh, as can be seen here. And then let's take a look at how much this has faded. So this is pretty close to the original color and then there's the, the color that it's faded to. So quite a difference. So fading is something that I would mention on these. They do fade. Um, these have gone through the wash probably 40, 50 times. I literally wore them every single week for the last um, almost a year now, and this is what they look like. These are great in the summer, and uh, we'll go ahead and give you a closer look here. So these are 58% uh, polyester, 47% nylon. Here's another shirt. Again, we've got a grease stain on here. Uh, not a big deal. The, these really washed clean and for a long time. This one has a tear in it. Um, I've snagged my shirts on several different things and this is the only one that actually created a hole and this was a very sharp uh, piece on my uh, truck and it snagged it and it did end up puncturing and ripping but I've been snagged on some pretty bad stuff and it hasn't uh, ripped or tore or anything so it's really durable fabric. Really pleased with that. Looks like we do have another stain here on the collar. We've got some paint. So for a work shirt, these Armachillo cooling ones are my go-to. It looks like they might be discontinuing that, which is really disappointing. Uh, right now they're on sale for they're normally like a $45 shirt, and I think I bought these new ones for $20 a piece on sale. Um, so I'm hoping that they keep that line open, and I'm hoping I can pick up some more of these. I'd even be willing to pay the $45. I'm 
I'm really cheap, I'm really frugal, but I know that these work for me now. I do want to do it again. Okay, on to the pants. Here we've got the the Duluth Flex. These are the the Duluth Flex ballroom jeans. Um, really comfortable. I tried the non-flex. I wasn't a fan. Uh, definitely, I go with Duluth Flex for everything. Um, it just fits me best. Um, one thing about these, these actually have a stain on them as well. Um, but I spend not a ton of time, I don't feel like, on my knees, but enough time on my knees that I wear out the colors on the knees really quick. So they do fade really quick. Um, like, I'll have these pants for a week, and inevitably, the knees will fade. The color wash on them or whatever, I don't know what it is, but they don't keep their color very well. So if you're looking for a nice um, going out on a Friday night jeans, these may not be it for you um, because they do fade for me. But uh, yeah, they fit well. These are hot. Um, I do not wear these in the hot months. So I also tried the Flex Fire Hose. Um, these were supposed to be more durable and these did probably hold up better in the outdoor work environment than the blue jeans did. Um, as far as the color, all of that, um, they've got a little bit too many pockets for my liking and they also have the Velcro, which I don't like. We've got the Velcro and then we've got, oh, these other pants are the ones with the zipper. Just too many pockets. I don't need this many pockets. I don't need the cargo pants. And I know they've got several different styles. Uh, Velcro pockets on the rear, again, not a fan. Uh, with the grass and everything, it gets caught in these and they just don't work very well. I, I guess it is nice to have the flap because it does keep dirt and stuff out of there if you want that. Um, these shrunk on me. Uh, the length on them probably shrunk an inch or two. Uh, so these I'm probably gonna need to get rid of because they just don't fit lengthwise. These are also too hot uh, in the hot months. A very durable pant, more durable than the blue jeans. Um, but they're hot and they did shrink. And these are the Flex Dry on the Fly. These are awesome. I mean, again, everything that I've had from Duluth has been super durable. These are 4.7 ounce, and I think the Fire Hose ones are eight ounce, so quite a bit thinner. This is more of a, a synthetic um, outdoorsman type material. And I, I think these are okay on the length. These. I wore all summer long weed whacking, and there is there is some sign of that. We've got some dirt. We've got some dirt and, and grass stains embedded in there, but it's really hard to tell, and I think the color definitely helps with that. Um, but again, this is all summer long of wearing it, landscaping, and just going crazy all summer long. Um, it does have the Velcro pockets, the cargo pockets, as well as a zipper on the on those as well. I'm not a huge fan of that. The zipper does connect to the other pockets. Um, I guess these were really nice for string trimmer line. I put that in here. Um, but again, if I didn't have a pocket, I probably wouldn't use it. A few too many pockets. Um, another thing that I'm a pretty big stickler about is belt loops. And I think that was one thing that I was disappointed with. I can't remember what pair of pants I got from them. That their pictures weren't exactly clear where the belt loops were. And when I got the pair of pants, they didn't have as many as I wanted. I wear a Leatherman on my hip and I like to have belt loops close to that. Uh, otherwise, it moves around a lot and it gives me issues. In fact, in fact, these jeans are probably one of them. So if you see here, I've got a belt loop right here above the pocket and then the next one backs in the back middle. And so my, my leather one will slide back and forth. Um, I just am used to adjusting it by now, it's not a big deal. But that uh, belt loops, the more belt loops the better for me. I'd rather have more than less. How long am I rambling on for? Hopefully that was all clear and concise and give you the best information I've got. This is not really my normal video, um, but I feel like I've got enough working experience, in, I've got enough R&D in these clothes that it's worth sharing. And I'm really happy with them. They are expensive. It's an investment. Um, I've paid for these all with my own money. Um, I have reached out to Luth to see if they'd sponsor a video. No response back from them. Um, but obviously I was willing to pay more money to get more products. Again, on sale, that's the way I work. I, uh, I'm pretty cheap in that nature. Um, so let's uh, get into the unboxing and we'll see what new stuff we've got here. Okay, which bag? Let's go with bag number one. This is the lightest bag. I have no clue what's in here. And we've got a shirt. This is the Armachilla Cooling short sleeve polo. And this is their green. One thing I will complain about Duluth is their colors are really hard to see. They're kind of cartoonized. It's hard to see um, what color they really are. And they even show a picture of the real stuff and I don't know what it's gonna look like. So we've got this green 
And this was $18.89 after discounts. Next up, we've got two more polos. Oh, three more. I like this blue. It's a nice vibrant color. This looks like it came off a store shelf. We've got a price tag here of $29.99. I picked that up for, again, $18.89. So we got four polos now. And this must be my pants. These are the Duluth Flex Ballroom Relaxed Fit Jeans. And again, these were on um, sale. Uh, with the color, oh maybe these weren't on sale, these were $53.55. Um, I did look at the colors and I tried to choose a color that wasn't going to fade as bad. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Um, but like I said, those do kind of tend to fade on me. And they do, you know, blues, they, they do all their good on, they're good at advertising and sales. You know, they've got these double cuffs and they really are durable, durable clothes. Now that I've seen these colors in person, the one I ordered two of, I must have thought was going to look the best. Um, and I think it looks the worst of the three. I definitely prefer the green and the blue more. I'll talk to my wife, see what she prefers. Um, but I'm, I'm probably going to order a few more of these blue or greens so long as they fit. If not, I can return these. So, yeah, there's my uh, little rambling long review on the Duluth trading clothes for uh, outdoor workwear. Okay, here's a look at that shirt. You tell me how in the comments how it fits. Um, the uh, yellowish green ones were a medium. This is a small, this is what I ordered. This is all I've got left. I don't even think they have medium to large at regular price anymore. So, uh, definitely tighter, um, but I looked at the specs and it is just mostly more narrow. I think it's two or four inches narrower on the sides. Um, again, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, my wife said something about it shrinking maybe. I don't think I had any issues with these other ones shrinking, so uh, be your own judge. Thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage review on these Duluth Trading clothes. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative and helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, as well as to give us a, a like on the video. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. We'll see you on the next one. Um, it does have a zipper fly. Um, everybody has a zipper fly. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's a plastic zipper fly. We'll be doing a review. We'll be doing a review on some Duluth trading company clothes.